Hi everyone, and welcome back to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Laura, and we're on day three, the final day of our story article, "The Most Dangerous Game." So we know that Rainsford is a hunter and a World War One veteran who divides the world into the hunters and the hunted. And on a ship, he hears a gunshot from a distant island. Leaning over the edge of the ship to find out what happened, he falls into the water. <gasps> Now Ransford swims to shore and walks through the jungle to find wow a gothic mansion. It's owned by General Zaroff, a Russian hunter and nobleman who lives with his huge servant Ivan. Zaroff now hunts people as animals、mm, are no challenge. He gives people a head start and food and supplies, and then he goes after them. If they survive for three days, they can leave the island. Now you might think, hey, why is Ransford playing? He doesn't want to play, but his choices are play the most dangerous game or get whipped by Ivan. Yeah, so he goes out in the jungle and tries to hide, but Zaroff finds him. However, Zaroff is enjoying the game, so he lets him live for another day. So he's got two more days to survive before he can leave the island. But Zaroff is a very good hunter. Let's find out what happens in part three of our story. Reading. The most dangerous game. Rainsford now knows the full meaning of fear. The fact is that the hunter has become the hunted. He draws on his hunting experience to set up traps. One of these injures Zaroff's shoulder. Rainsford then builds a pit with sharp wooden spikes at the bottom. He hears a scream of pain from the pit, but it was Zaroff's hunting dog that fell in. Later. Rainsford ties his knife to a flexible tree to set a trap. This ends up killing Ivan, not Zaroff. Zaroff returns with his whole pack of dogs, barking and chasing Rainsford. He has no choice but to jump off a cliff into the sea. Zaroff believes it was suicide. Disappointed, he returns to his bedroom in the mansion. Rainsford is hiding in the curtains. He tricked Zaroff and swam around the island to the mansion. Zaroff praises him for winning the game, but Rainsford challenges Zaroff to a fight to the death. In what could be considered either self-defense or murder, Rainsford kills Zaroff and sleeps soundly that night in Zaroff's comfortable bed. So day three starts by saying Rainsford now knows the full meaning of fear.、Mm, Rainsford 现在已经知道什么是恐惧真正的意思哦。And the article next says the fact is that the hunter has become the hunted. Done,、okay. done, done. OK， 我们来看一下，原来呢，现在呢，他原本是猎人嘛，现在他已经变成这个猎物哦。The fact is that OK， 这样子句型，我们今天来看一下哦。这个句型是用于说明某个，比如说呃真相啦，因为课文是提到 fact， 那我们也可以用 problem or truth， 或者某个问题、某个事实等等的详细内容。That 引导的名词子句接在 be 动词。后方作为前方名词的主词补语，补充说明主词的内容。那这个时候呢 ，that 作为连接词是可以被省略喽。讲这么多，我们还是提个例句，大家会比较清楚哦。像是呢 ，The fact is。That the singer is cheating on his wife. <gasps> 嗯，事实上就是他劈腿。Okay, 大家有想到是可能是哪位歌手吗 ？A bit of a gossip here. <laughs>、mm -hmm. So what does Rainsford do in this situation? He is now the hunted. Now, like he said, the world is just full of two groups: the hunters and the hunted. So he decides it's time to go back to being a hunter. The article says he draws on his hunting experience to set up traps. 
To draw on or draw upon something is to use a skill or some knowledge or some experience that you already have to help you out in a difficult situation. You go, okay, I've been in this kind of thing before. I know what I did last time. I'll remember what I did and use that experience as kind of a special resource. Yes, Rainsford, go go go. Okay, so Rainsford is 利用他的狩猎的经验。那接下来他要来设陷阱哦，因为他不想要成为猎物哦。Draw on something 就是利用什么或是动用什么哦。So he makes some traps, and we see one of these injures Zaroff's shoulder. So it doesn't kill the general, but it does hurt him because that's what injure means. This verb means to hurt somebody. We could also say to wound, w o u n d, somebody. You just damage their body in some way. We use injure for a body part. You don't injure a car or a house. You damage it. But if it's a body part, you injure it. Here's an example. Kevin fell down when he was playing basketball and injured his ankle. Hmm. Okay. I think he's trying to tell the general, "Don't mess with me." Okay. 我们来看一下 Rainsford 呢，他刚刚是不是有设陷阱？而且其中一个陷阱还使 Zaroff 的肩膀受伤。Injure 这个动词就是使受伤或是伤害的意思。举例来说 ，The basketball player fell and injured his knees. So he manages to hurt Zaroff, but Zaroff's still coming. Next, we see Rainsford then builds a pit with sharp wooden spikes at the bottom. It's a very good, a very traditional kind of trap. You cover it with leaves so it looks like part of the floor, and if people don't notice, they'll fall into this pit. A pit is a hole in the ground. We often use this word for a kind of hole that's not usually easy to get out of. It's the sort of thing that would be. A Trap people would trap animals in it, or you'd maybe trap、uh, people around in it if that was what you were trying to do. You might say, for example, the men trapped the dangerous tiger in a pit. Okay, so this time Rainsford, he 接着做了一个 pit. Pit 是什么呢？它有洞穴啦，或是一个坑这样子的意思哦。不过它不是只有就是掉进去洞坑哦，因为它的底部这个洞的底部呢，它有着尖锐的木质的尖状物，所以可能下去的时候一样，你还是会受伤哦。And it's a pit with sharp wooden spikes at the bottom, huh? Yeah, a pit is bad enough. If you fell in, you could break your leg or you couldn't get out. But this one's even deadlier. It has sharp wooden spikes in it. Let's look at the word "wooden" first. As you might expect, it just means made of wood. It's made of a bit of a tree. That's all that "wooden" means. We often just use "wood" as an adjective by itself. That's a pretty common thing to do in casual English. But "wooden" is The more correct adjective form, you might say, in the kitchen there was a wooden table and three wooden chairs. Wooden 就是木质的，它是一个形容词，它是源自于呃名词木头，就是 wood。很多东西都可以是木质的、啊，像是 a wooden spoon 木做的一个汤匙啊 ，wooden bowl。我可以想到做沙拉的时候，可能会用到一个大大很美丽的木质的碗。Ah,、oh, 或者是 a wooden box. She hid all her love letters in the wooden box. Ooh. So now we have wooden spikes, though a little bit nastier than a wooden box. Spikes are something long with a sharp pointed end. 嗯 ，spike 是什么呢？就是尖状物。也就是说呢，如果你不想掉到这个 Ransford 设的陷阱，你就会被这个 spikes， 就是尖尖的东西给刺伤。Does it work? Well, we see in the article he Rainsford hears a scream of pain from the pit, but it was Zaroff's hunting dog that fell in.、Oh. So he killed one of the general's dogs. Which, by the way, how unfair is this?、Mm. Zaroff not only has Ivan to help him out, he's got dogs to hunt Rainsford's smell.、Ugh. This is not a fair game at all. Exactly. But one of the dogs is dead, and that was the scream that Rainsford heard. A scream as a noun. This is just a long, loud cry. Usually, people make a scream if they're in pain, if they're afraid, or if they're really, really sad. And of course, we've got the verb. 
to scream as well. You can scream or you can make a scream. So an example sentence is: I heard a scream, and when I came to find out what it was, Laura told me a cockroach had run over her foot. That was my scream. Okay, so you know, 如果这里的 Rainsford Cohen 他是听到别人的叫声哦，是不是 Sarah？ 是不是呢？哎，他听到了一个疼痛的尖叫声，是来自于这个洞穴，但是掉下去的竟然只是 Sarah 的猎犬哦。Scream 这个字虽然可以当做动词，但本课是当做名词来用，就是尖叫、惊呼。那我们可能是 a scream of pain， 就是疼痛的尖叫，或是你也可以是 a scream of joy， 就是非常开心的尖叫声。但是在恐怖片通常都是哀嚎哦。In the horror horror movie, no one heard their screams when the murderer appeared in the house. 在恐怖片当中。当凶手出现在屋内，竟然没有人听到他们的尖叫声。So that trap didn't work. What about this one? We see later Rainsford ties his knife to a flexible tree to set a trap. So if something's flexible, it can be bent without breaking. It's that kind of young, kind of springy bit of tree. You can bend it back and tie the knife to it. The branch won't break, and when the trap is triggered, that knife will fume, fly out and hit somebody.、Oh. Okay, I get it now. Ah,、uh, so after that, this、这个、Rainsford 又想到另外一招哦。他把他的刀绑在一个柔韧的树，就是比较容易弯曲的树来设陷阱。Flexible 就是柔韧的或者是易弯曲的，它是一个形容词哦。But we see this ends up killing Ivan, not Zaroff. When we use this phrase "end up" with a ving form verb, it just describes what happens at the end. We always use the ving form. I ended up going to the movie. I ended up eating pizza for dinner. It's just what happens after, and maybe a few decisions and some time has passed. So unfair. He has a lot of people helping out, huh? So this 竟然最后杀死了 Ivan or Ivan， 而不是 Zaroff。End up. 后面我们要接 v i n g， 就是最后如何如何。So the article continues. Zaroff returns with his whole pack of dogs, barking and chasing Rainsford. Zaroff 跟他整群的这个猎犬返回，而且呢，他的狗大叫着，并追着 Rainsford。这里的 pack 指的就是一群，呃，在这里呢，课文提的就是猎犬啦。We see he Rainsford has no choice but to jump off a cliff into the sea. Oh, a cliff is a high, straight wall of rock. You'll often see these on the coast, like the east coast of Taiwan has got a lot of high cliffs. So he's not jumping from a beach into the sea. He's jumping off a very high place. 哦哦，所以他已经被追赶了，所以他现在完全没有选择余地，只得从这个悬崖跳海。Cliff 就是悬崖或是峭壁这样的意思哦，它是一个名词。We next see that Zaroff believes it was suicide, so he thinks, "Ah,、oh, Rainsford killed himself to escape being caught," because that's what suicide is—the act of killing oneself. We could say after his wife left him, Tony considered suicide as a way to end his pain. Okay, so Zaroff 这时候看到哎。他跳海，那想说啊，他相信说他应该是自杀了哦。Suicide 是个名词，就是自杀。我们可以用什么动词来搭配？像是 commit suicide， 就是做这样子的一个行为，自杀；或者是 to attempt suicide， 就是企图自杀。For example, after suffering from depression, the man committed suicide in his house. So we next see that disappointed he Zaroff returns to his bedroom in the mansion. So he's disappointed. He feels like, oh, I thought this was a good game. I thought Rainsford could have really done it. He was doing so well, but、oh, then he killed himself. I'm disappointed. If you're disappointed, you're unhappy because things didn't turn out the way you wanted them to, or you hoped that they were going to. If you see a movie and you thought it was going to be so good. But it wasn't. You would feel disappointed. 
嗯 ，disappointed 这个感受是什么呢？就是感到失望的啊，或是很沮丧的啊。所以这里呢 ，Zeref 他是非常的失望，因为他本来讲说哇，这个游戏好刺激，好好玩。可是呢，因为就是 Rainsford 自杀了，所以他就回到他的豪宅的房间。But we see Rainsford is hiding in the curtains. <gasps> Yeah, big dramatic moment there. He's in the curtains of the bedroom. When we talk about curtain, and we often use the plural curtains because they're usually in pairs on either side of a window. Not always, but we would often say curtains, not just curtain. But it's material that is hung down, generally over a window. Of, although, of course, if you're on stage, the stage、oh. has curtains that can be lowered or pulled aside、mm-hmm. to reveal the stage. But usually, we mean the things over. Over a window that you'd pull when you want to close out the day, block the light, go to bed, and you'd open again in the morning. For example, Lucy got up and opened the curtains to see that it was a lovely sunny day. Okay, so the story finally 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 fin
，所以 soundly 呢，通常我们是跟 sleep 连用，就是睡得非常沉稳啊，就是酣睡底这样的一个副词哦。Whoa! I didn't see that coming.、Mm, I think kind well, of like well done to Rainsford. Still very cruel, like because you know I really don't enjoy the game of killing people. Well, that's kind of what we're going to discuss in today's for you chat question. So let's go to that right now. For you chat. So the question is: Did Rainsford have a good reason to kill Zaroff? Did he do it to save his own life, or was it murder? What do you think? So, was this self-defense or was this murder? I know this is going to sound really bad, but I think it was right. It was kind of okay for him to kill Zaroff because I kind of get scared. Like in the horror movie, if you don't kill the bad guy or whoever is like going after you, you will get killed eventually. So、mm. yeah, it's kind of a game of survival. So if you don't kill this person, he might like end up killing you sometime later.、Yeah. I agree. It was self-defense. I、yeah. mean, we did mention that. Sure, maybe Rainsford could have maybe hid for a bit, found Zaroff's、mm-hmm. boat because I guess he must have one,、right. and you know, get off the island、mm-hmm. safely that way. Or he、right. could have just stayed in Zaroff's house and had dinner, and <laughs> you know, they shake hands about it at the I, end. Yeah, I just wouldn't feel comfortable having dinner with somebody who's trying to, like, you know, to kill me. Been trying to kill for you、fun. for three days. There's one other point to consider, which is that if, if Rainsford just Leaves,、mm-hmm. then Zaroff can keep hunting other people. Okay, you know, more people might end up on the island, and more people might end up getting hunted and killed in this way.、Ah. So, you know, in some ways, he's kind of like, I'm going to remove this threat、right. from the world. I'm going to deal with it like I would, you know, a, a lion or tiger that's、mm-hmm. gone man killer. Right. Those and if a tiger starts eating people, and there was one not that long ago in India, it started、uh-huh. attacking people. It wasn't afraid of them、Ooh. anymore. It killed. People, if it's a tiger like that, you can't put it in a zoo. You can't、no. leave it out there in the、no. wild. You have to kill it, and that's kind of what Rainsford has done、mm-hmm. here. Like, no, this this guy's got to be killed, or he will kill more people. So I would say yes, he had good reason to kill Zaroff to save his life and that of other people as well. Well,、okay. I that, guess you guys can think about this. Yes,、question. yeah, you might have a different opinion, and that's absolutely fine. But that is all the time we've got for today. Thanks for joining us for this exciting story of hunting and ex- and murder and all sorts <laughs> of stuff going on. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you again soon for English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Laura. Bye bye. Bye. Vocabulary review. Injure. Bonnie injured her leg when she fell off the roof, so she had to see a doctor. Pit. I don't want to climb into that pit. I don't know what's down there. Wooden. Laura's father built a wooden house using the trees he cut down in the forest. Scream. Lisa let out a scream when she saw a huge bug in her bedroom. Suicide. Students are under a lot of pressure these days, and some of them think suicide is the only solution. Curtain. Irene pulled the curtains over her window so her neighbors couldn't see inside. 智慧小补帖。Spike. Flexible. Cliff. Disappointed. Self-defense. Soundly. The show program is by Huayong Language Media. Huayong Language Media Magazine. Please search for it in all major bookstores. 如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。